Welcome back, survivors. Mr. Z here. And we are back in Breath Edge. Alright, guys, so I was correct. The entrance is in the Ball of Mayo. But the problem was, is that I was, um. I was overshooting it. So I think we need to be about right here. I think we need to go around this. So that we come in here. And then I kept going up high. I believe that is the door right there. And we are in. All right, so we are in. We have our igniter. Uh, let's see here. This is also a chance for me to collect anything if we haven't already got it. Here we go. Going around. Where is the dude? I should have went to the right. Um... Oh, I remember. We gotta go down in here. Where's the door? There's the door. Yes, and now we gotta go in here and find the dude. Okay. Analysis on the crash of the liner and the nature of the damage allows us to state with great confidence that the damage caused to the Mayo tanks by the abruptly stopped centrifuge was one of the causes of the liner's depressurization and its ejection from the warp. These data confirm the possible involvement of the Green Universe in the disaster. Yay, Green Universe. Ignite. Oh yeah. Despite the fact that the task involved pumping out gas to create a miniature engine with an igniter, your barbaric method of directly lighting your rear end is recognized as effective. It's time to check the control panel. What control panel? Uh, do we have a marker for it? Um, no, I guess not. Oh, is this it? Haha, -ha. take you. Take you. Use. Engine damage detected. Launch canceled. Okay, so we need to get that outside engine going before we do this. Okay. Okay, so we got at least part of it done. Um, let's get back out. No, don't get stuck on the stuff. Doesn't matter if we jet through it or not, it's still the same speed. Okay, so I need one of the maneuver engines, and in order to do that, I am going to need things. I don't remember exactly what things. Alright, pause in here, guys. Be right back. Okay, guys. I am back, and I'm headed back to the mail tank. Um, I found two electronics over by the night errand gun in garbage. So yeah, I broke a couple balls of garbage and found them, so here we are. Now I did that, I went back and I made the uh, maneuver engine, so we have the maneuver engine. So we're going to run over here, put the maneuver engine on, and then hopefully we can get inside the station and do whatever it is that we need to do to 
get things situated. The engine is installed. Now the tank will probably be able to fly. All right, so we got that. Now, would you put the thing away, please? All right, let's see if we can do this. Can I come over here? No, don't get stuck on it. And then we have to come down here, because there's the door. All right. Okay, there's that, and here is the console. All right, guys, here goes nothing. Oh, this is gonna 
Yep, yep. Go up there, through the tube. If the core is damaged and the mayo from the central cooling circuit is thrown into space, then we can use the same way for evacuation. Your incredible dexterity, together with incredible luck and incredibly linear strength, works wonders. <laughs> in any case, there's a decrease in the core's activity. If nothing explodes there in the next couple of minutes, then the task can be considered completed. Okay. I can't say for sure, but apparently it was a backup power cell of the newest nuclear warp installation in the core of the liner. What we have seen is one of the most protected government secrets, and the presence of a Green Universe Radical there confirms their involvement in the catastrophe. There's our bike up here. Well, at least our bike didn't get, like, taken out. Okay, so we've done this. Now... Let's go down here real fast. Someone clearly does not like standard space food. Even the liner's kitchen didn't have such equipment. Okay, what do we got down here? Oh, the kitchen. Nice. What is this? Wire, wire, plastic, more wire. Can't go through that. Okay, that's cool. What about this? Stop stealing, stealing my sandwiches. If someone is constantly stealing your food, do not, under any circumstance, okay, we'll take mix that it with well. a laxative, an emetic, or red pepper. But I would not open this box if I were you. Huh. Yeah, I think we'll skip opening that box, too. Alright, where? There it is. All right, I still got to figure out how to get into that other module. Now, I've looked at it from where we've shot it. And I just, I don't see any way in over there. But we will fill up our oxygen and we will go look. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to check this other debris over here. Can we enter this mail ball? We can. Hold on. See, I want to know what that one mail ball was talking about that time when it said there were solids detected. Nothing of interest. That's my, my thing is it said it had solids in there. Hold on, it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this one. Oh, wait, what? Um... Maybe it wasn't that one. I don't know. I want to check these mail balls before we call it done. Nothing of interest. See, it says there's nothing in that one. So did this one have solids in it? Or am I just wasting my durability here? Nothing of interest. Okay, I have no clue then. No clue whatsoever. I could have swore one of them said that there were solids in there.
I don't know. Let's check this one. Nothing of interest. N nothing there either. That one doesn't work. Nothing of interest. Yeah, it doesn't say there's anything there. Okay, yeah, no, I have no idea. No idea at all, because I could have sworn one of them said that there were solids in there and that I could do something with the solids or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm being senile again. All right, let's fi let's let's re-air and then go and we will check that other deal. Unless we see another mail ball, then we might stop. But I think I've checked all the mail balls. All right, let's go this way. And I kind of want to look around this backside because, you know, I don't know if we've ever looked around the backside. Maybe that's how you get in is through the back. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. I'm trying to see if I see any sort of hatch or anything. But that's the problem. We've looked, I've looked over here. I've been, like, flew in most of the holes. And I still haven't found anything. Need another door. See, it just doesn't make sense. There is no other door. But at the same time, I've shot this, so... Can I fly through this? No, we cannot fly through this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, we might have done something bad. Uh-oh. There it goes. Woo! <clears throat> yeah, don't, don't try to fly through those guys. Nothing down that one. See, I've looked through all this stuff, though. There's nothing here. Okay, well... I don't know. Go ahead and fill up on our oxygen again. Okay, so that's full. Let's come up here and look at this little thing. Maybe there's something up here. Maybe we gotta like follow the debris or something. I don't know. 
Someone pulled the cord and pushed out the glass even before the depressurization started. Okay, so what am I... Window. Okay, nothing over here. Let's go ahead and eat and we will drink some water. Okay, does that lead me to anything over here? There's some resin. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing anything. Have I looked in here? Let me check. Uh, that's where, oh, that's where the bed was. Yeah, nothing there. Oh, we are so close. So close, I tell you. So close. Let's see, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, not sure what to do. Alright guys, give me a second, I'm going to fly around and see if we can't figure some stuff out, and I'll bring y'all back in just a second. Okay guys, um, apparently I found it, so I didn't fly up high enough, I guess, because uh, this looks like the interior section of the ship. With so, such damage, we won't be able to control the core remotely, but we can use the core protection protocol and open additional cooling valves in the liner. For that, find the central panel and try to guess the nine-digit password. I uh, can't get through that one. Oh, we're inside. Okay, so yeah, there is a door over there. You just gotta keep looking. Neutralize. Thank you, immortal chicken. Is that food? Yeah, that's food. And go ahead and eat that. We'll drink that. Oh, and I found a grumpy cat. It was in a little wreck out there. Okay, so we can't go that way. Duct tape here. Candle there. Um. Okay, so A detailed nothing... plan of the habitation module. Where? Oh, here we go. Medium habitation module and my scanner broke. Imagine that. Bubble planet. More food. Back here. 
Okay, so is that all that's in this room? I guess. And we're almost full of things, aren't we? Very little room left. Can't go that way. Immortal chicken, I call you. Interesting. This fake console, assembled literally from different pieces of trash, refutes the statements of its manufacturers <sighs> about the impossibility of repairing their device by rule of thumb due to its incredible complexity. Really? Most likely the passenger died because of a harmless toy that clogged the air outflow. Sometimes a dust collector is still worth cleaning. Grumpy bear. Although this leads to interesting Aww. design solutions. But I want to take a grumpy bear with me. Fine, I'll drop the plastic. Grumpy Bear, you are mine. More refined metal, more water, more things. A detailed plan of the service module. And once again, I can't do anything with it. Alright guys, well, I'm going to have to return back to, uh, to the base and... We're going to have to drop everything off and come back because uh, we finally found it. It took me a minute. It really did. I can't believe I it, bleh, I can't believe I struggled that much to find it, but, you know, we did find it. It's, uh, yeah, so I don't know. It's just a little bit up above the door, so if you are looking for it, that is how you get to it. So close. One task left. One task left. Alright guys, I'm going to pause it here and we'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, we're back. Got my scanner. Let's get some stuff scanned. We've already known that. I figured as much. Extendo Slim. Okay, we got an Extendo. Small service module. Can't open that. Okay. We got a little bit of food and water already. Automatic maintenance team. I wouldn't touch them unless necessary. Huh? Oh, those robot dudes. Oh, okay, so that's where we just came from. Uh, let's go back. Yeah. Oh, no, that's the door below us. I can hit it. And let's go ahead and bust out one of these. The door is being repaired faster than your attempts to break it. We need to get rid of the maintenance team somehow. Ah! How dare they? Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and put that on number one. hit more than ooh, that's how we do it okay I got this ha 
Ha ha ha! This must be the central panel. On the first try. That was easy. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? You unable to lie. You could not just do something and not break something. Tell truth. Confirm. Um, tell him? I suspect that the panel is a bit out of order, but judging by the sensors, an undocumented passage was hidden under it. Yay, an undocumented pass. Someone liked to break lamps, because it doesn't look a bit like repair work. Alright. Well, guys, we are starting to run a little bit over, I think. I'm going to go ahead and call it here. And we will continue the video from this point forward uh, in the next one. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it, if you have. Be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment to thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving. <laughs>